Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those swatches. Now I'm gonna show you how I created this eye look. First of all, I just wanted to say it is really, really hot today in London. I am like sweating and I've left the window open. So if you hear any crazy noises, it's most probably my neighbors or outside. So yeah, um, I just wanted to say while I was creating this eye look, the only thing that I really, really wanted from this palette was a black. And I would, I really wanted that depth on the outer corner. I really wanted not even a black, maybe even like a gray or a really dark, brown a deep dark brown it would have done it for me but I feel like something's missing um I do really like the eye look but I do feel like a deeper color is missing on the outer V so when I was looking at the palette I was like okay so which color really isn't needed and can be swapped out for a blackish color and I would say this one is very very similar to this one so uh, Fulani and Burkina also in this palette there are two kind of glittery shades but when they are on the eye, they just come out as matte colors. They don't have any glitter to it. You can see the glitter in the pan. They have gold glitter. So this one is pink with gold glitter. And then this one's like an orangey brown with gold glitter. But on that, well, I didn't use this one on the eye today, but this one, when I put it on my eye, there was no glitter. Also, when I swatched it, there was barely any glitter. It's definitely more of a matte shade. So that's just a little bit of information I wanted to add in. Now, someone asked me in my last video, how do you prime your eyes? And I always like skip it because I thought you guys knew um, but I do have new subscribers so welcome let me tell you I always use the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade skin tone I love the consistency of this um, it does kind of remind me of like a paint pot but a tiny bit more creamy or not as drying I do have to set it with a powder but as you can see I have been loving this it's got a huge dent in it so yeah so I just take this on my finger sometimes sometimes on this Zoeva brush but it's filthy so I don't want to use it on camera right now it is kind of tacky so I would say set it and I do set it but I don't know maybe some people don't so once I've tapped it evenly all over the eye I take some loose powder this is Sasha buttercup light um i did have the original but it was just a tad bit too dark for me so melissa uk. they were kind enough to send me the um new sasha buttercup light and it is honestly the perfect shade for my skin tone it is maybe like a banana shade but it is more of a yellowy banana consistency so it does really suit my skin tone i really do like it so yeah that's what i do okay so now we're all primed i'm gonna jump into the masquerade palette by juvia's place of course and i started off with this color here which is called burkina so as you can see it shows up as like a shadow but it is a nice kind of skin tone color to use all over the lid and they blend so easy yeah i think this brown would have been more than enough browns for the palette and really change that color for a black i would have been over the moon with this palette i still am i really like it i mean i like the look i created if i was creating this without just sticking to a palette i would definitely add a black on the outer v but as for the colors that i did actually use i really really like the consistency and the pigmentation really good Okay, the next I dipped into the pinky purpley matte color called Zobo, and that is another thing. There's only one matte kind of colorful shade. All of these are shimmery. I definitely, if this was my palette and I was designing it, I would have made one of these matte just so I could, if I wanted to do a colorful look today, I could have picked a nice, you know, deep dark navy blue matte to put in my crease or something. So yeah, anyways, I took the shade Zobo, which is this one here. There is a little bit of kickback on the palette, but nothing too crazy actually um and then <laughs> i almost use this there's no mirror by the way guys and then i just place this into my crease so you can see just how easy that blends with the brown we put down before you hardly need to put any pressure do any work it blends itself and this is a really gorgeous kind of pinky magenta color i really do love it so then next I dipped into this pinky shade which I told you comes out as a matte color on the lid. I just wanted to try it and see how it applied on the lid. It is called Bori and then I'm just going to put that. So I don't know if you can see it does apply as a matte hot pink color. But it is a really gorgeous pink and I appreciate it because I love colorful eyeshadows. Then next I dipped into the shade Ada which is this warm tone kind of burgundy-ish brown and I also put that on the outer V. I was just using every single colour guys, I wanted to test them so I can get a good review for you. 
it's going to be kind of hard to see ada because of the colors i've already put down but i have used ada before and it is a really nice shade it shows up as a really nice warm brown in the crease okay so once i got to this point this is when i half cut the crease so i'm going to take my makeup revolution camouflage conceal palette which is filthy so i'm not going to show you guys but it is the one that looks like this on the inside and i'm going to take this shade right here and cut my crease i'm also because i know people like to ask i'm using my zoeva dupe brush and this is the 226 smudger brush i like the round shape of it it just helps me get in, get that moon shape on my eye and this part honestly is just about patience and perseverance <laughs> Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go in with the shade Zola, which is this light blue shimmery colour, and I'm going to begin to pat this on the first half of my eye. And I'm just pressing that on. There is a little bit of fallout with these shadows, guys, but they are so pigmented, I kind of expect it, and it is fine. I don't do my concealer and everything until I finish my eyes, usually, so it doesn't bother me. I just wipe it off and then apply my concealer. Okay, so next I went in with the shade Dahlia, which is the next blue colour here, and I started packing that in the middle of the eye. And with this Dahlia shade, I'm going to press it a little bit on the outer V as well, because when I add my next shade, I'm going to blend them together. But yeah, those shimmery blue shades are so gorgeous. I'm going to top up this side as well. Then last but not least, because I wanted to try at least add some darkness onto this side, I used the shade Fulani, which I thought was darker. Well, it is a tiny bit darker than this, but not so much to a point where it's worth having two in the palette. You know what I mean? Okay, so that is the eyeshadow look complete using the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I'm going to go do my liner, lashes, concealer, all of that, and I'm going to come back and give you my final thoughts on the palette. Okay, guys, and I'm back. So this is how the makeup is looking so far. I totally forgot to add my inner corner highlight on the previous clip. So I used the shade Giza or Geyser. Um, it is the lightest shade in this palette, and it is this one right here. So I'm just going to take a dab of that on my inner corner. And just in case you were wondering, on my lower lash line off camera, I used the shade Zobo, which is this pinky purpley magenta matte colour. And then for my lipstick, I got sent these lipsticks from House of Uni. I believe it's an indie band band it's an indie brand from usa and the packaging looks like this nice cute gold plastic packaging it's got this nice kind of dotted gold rim type of thing and then this is the lipstick i use today this is the shade kokomo <laughs> that's very unique and um this is the color i did use a lip liner with it i use the ColourPop k lip liner but yeah these lipsticks feel really nice and creamy on the lips they're really really comfortable the one thing i will say is they do take a lot of building up the pigment is not 100 percent there um, let me show you only on the one that I used today I haven't okay so let me do 10 swipes here compared to the one swipe so do you see you have to build it up to get a lot of color payoff but apart from that they're really comfortable on the lips okay so let's get back to this palette the masquerade palette by juvia's place i definitely give it maybe a eight out of ten i love the colors i love the pigmentation of the palette it blends super easy i love that you can get a ton of looks from this like it's inspiration every time you open the palette so many colorful bright colors but also two rows of neutral natural colors to wear every day i mean they are really good quality eyeshadows i love the shade selection like i said in the video Video. I just wish they had a black to pull everything together so you can create any look that you want um, but the color selection that they have picked I really really like you rarely ever see such bright vibrant pigmented um, shimmery colors that's what I was going to say um, in a palette so I'm definitely really happy and the fact that they mixed it with some neutral colors I feel like this palette will suit everyone unless you're totally not into colors you don't wear colors at all then maybe I would say go with a different palette but this one if you love neutrals and you also love pops of color this palette is definitely a must so I did pay £90 for all three of my palettes, so that makes it about £30 per palette. So this palette for £30 is really not bad. 
yeah so this palette for 30 pound is really not bad the pan size is huge the palette size is huge you get a lot of product in here how many shadows actually four times four 16 so you get 16 eyeshadows huge pans and they're very pigmented so i mean i can't say anything bad about this palette apart from the fact that it doesn't have a black but i really do enjoy using this palette and i will continue to use it i definitely recommend it if you were looking into it okay guys so that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below if you have the masquerade palette or if you have any juvia's place palettes and what you are loving i know a ton of people ask me do i have the saharan palette i do not have the saharan palette like i i really want to get the new zulu is it zulu one or i really or is it magic magic and zulu like i really like the look of those two saharan was really not down my street i'm not a fan of how the colors look but i really do like the look of zulu because i love colorful eyeshadows and i also like the look of um, magic so I'm definitely gonna look on the UK websites and see if they have any stock of that and if they do of course I'll buy it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in my next one bye